welcome back to the channel so in this video we are going to talk about lambda at edge so lambda at edge is nothing it's just an extension of the aws service aws lambda so if you are not aware of lambda you can just go and check out my videos on aws lambda so basically lambda is a way of running your code on aws infrastructure without provisioning any infrastructure so you don't need to worry about the infrastructure aws take care of that you just need to give the code so that's what aws lambda is and lambda at edge is basically you can use aws lambda to run your lambda functions across the edge locations uh, in the cloud front so basically what you do is you author uh, your lambda function in one region and it runs across all the edge locations so if you work with lambda you know that for it's a regional service right so in every region you need to run your if you want to run your lambda function you need to configure it in each region it's not that you configure it globally but with the cloudfront uh, lambda at edge you just configure it in one region and you can run it across all the edge locations of the cloudfront across all region uh, all the world and with lambda the best thing which comes is that it scales automatically so the number or it basically scales on the number of requests which are coming to cloudfront so you need not worry about the servers or the cap capacity or anything of that. So the cloud front events for which you can configure Lambda functions are basically four. So there's viewer request, origin request, origin response and viewer response. So the first thing is when the request hits the cloud front uh, edge location. So from the viewer. So that is called viewer request. Then, okay, let me show you diagrammatically. Let me get rid of this. Uh, I'll show you what we mean. So, if we get rid of this, and let me draw a diagram where this is my viewer, this is my cloud front. And suppose this is my origin so origin can be a s3 bucket or a web server or anything of that sort so the first thing is the viewer request so this is your viewer request the request coming in from the end user this is your viewer request all right the next uh, I mean where you can configure your lambda function to do anything is when the cloud front forwards the request to the origin so that is called basically origin request so this is origin request then it the reverse happens uh, like uh, when the cloud front receives response from the origin so when the origin sends a response to the cloud front then also you can use lambda at edge and the, finally the fourth uh, is fourth event is basically when the cloud front forwards the response to the viewer which is called viewer response right. so these are the four uh, events for which you can configure uh, a lambda function now let's look at a few example uh, i mean what you can do with your lambda function so there are a couple of examples where you can use lambda function at edge lambda at edge so the first is like you can inspect cookies of the incoming request and you can do url rewrites i mean you can do this for a b testing like suppose you want certain number of requests to go to one server and certain number of requests to go to another server maybe that kind of uh, weighted routing you can consider i mean you can consider it as weighted routing so you have like two sites you have a latest code running on one site and you have the old code running on the you have one uh, another site and you want that a small percentage of users can go to the site which is running the latest code so that you can do some testing whether the website is functioning uh, as it's uh, it should be like that, that that is what ab testing is basically uh, you can also return objects based on the user device so end user can be accessing your application or your website using any different kind of device it can be an ipad a mobile phone a laptop or i mean there are a bunch of devices even televisions right so you can serve different images to different users using different devices using um, lambda edge 
and the last thing is when you want to basically serve a private content so what you can do is you can inspect for the authorization token in the headers and then you can serve the content so that also you can do it using lambda attach so basically these are the few examples of lambda now let's just go into the aws console and see how you configure lambda attach function okay. so guys uh, as you can see i'm in my aws console and for this part of uh, tutorial i'm going to use a template function which is already provided by aws so I mean that is actually a pretty good example to give you a good understanding of lambda at edge so you can see we had our cloud fund distribution from our last videos and it's in deployed state so earlier i have changed the status to disable so it was not deployed because i didn't want to basically waste money so that is why i just disabled the state but i have enabled it now and the first thing which i'm going to do is going to create a lambda function so i'm going to AWS lambda so I don't have any function so let's just create it and we will not author from scratch basically what we are going to do is we are going to use a blueprint which is already provided by AWS and we will look for CloudFront and the function which we are going to use is this CloudFront modify response header so we will be modifying the response header coming from our origin so if you picture it this is the response coming from origin which we told which i told you that is origin response right so i'll select this and let's just go to configure i'll name it origin response and for the role and the policy i mean i'm going to select this option because this is going to automatically create enough a policy template for your lambda function to run so, I mean, if you have an existing policy or a role which has uh, sufficient permissions, you can select that. But if you don't know what policy file you need, you just let this uh, option be checked and give it a name. So, I'll call it uh, origin response role. And the policy, you can see template is already selected. Uh, for this code, I'm going to copy and paste some code over here. So I'll just pause my video and come back. Okay, so I've copied the code. I haven't pasted it here yet because it looks like I can't edit it over here. So let's just create the function and we'll edit it in the designer itself. So I'll pause the video till this function is getting created. So you can see I have uh, pasted my code and this code uh, I'll pay I'll basically paste the URL in the description from where I got this code this code is uh, basically nothing it's there available in the AWS documentation so it's nothing that I have written on my own because uh, frankly speaking I don't know what Node.js is I have never worked with Node.js so this is the code which I've just copied it from the AWS documentation and for the testing purpose this is more than enough so since we have now we have our code uh, let's see if there's any other setting which we need to do so everything looks good now we are going to do and save our function so our function is saved the next thing what we are going to do is we are going to add trigger to our function and for trigger we are going to use let's get rid of this add trigger and we are going to select cloud front and you can see it gives you an option to deploy lambda at edge so let's just you can see your cloud front distribution so you can double check if this is the correct distribution since i only have one distribution so i don't need to double check it it's there cache behavior i mean i'm going to do it for all the objects in my origin so i just have one object basically an aws.png file suppose if you want to do it for just the jpeg file so you can do star.jpg so i mean that's that's how you can basically alter your cache behavior and cloud front event is origin response so if you remember what we what i told you that it's origin response right okay confirm deploy lambda at edge so i'm going to check acknowledge and now i'm going to deploy it
so this is going to take some time so you can see this it, it's some sort of a bug which doesn't it takes you to the page and back to the AWS console but you can be rest assured that your function is getting deployed and how you can verify it you can verify it by going to CloudFront and you can see the status that it's now deploying that Lambda function. So this is going to take some time. So I'll be back once this status is deployed again. All right, so you can see the status has changed to deployed. Now what I'm going to do is since we had an object AWS.png, so I've opened that in this uh, new window. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to inspect, I mean, you can use your browser Dev developers tool to inspect the elements and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the networks and what I'm looking for here are headers so I'm just let me just refresh the page okay so okay so yeah so here are the headers so if you see if I come down so we inserted few headers like security policy then there was strict security transport and we said this time so you can see we have modified the headers of our object so this is what basically you can do using your lambda function so i hope you got a little idea what lambda at edge does so this was for the uh, uh, origin response you can try and just go ahead and do something with your viewer viewer request viewer response and just play around with it i mean so if you're using cloudfront so i hope you like this video uh, please subscribe to my channel and please encourage me to do good work and let's continue with the course